insomnia. We've all heard of it. But not many have experienced the true hell that insomnia is. If something happens to you, and you go so long without being able to sleep. About two years ago, my insomnia was at its worst. I was getting maybe an hour or two of sleep each night. And some nights I would lay in bed, my eyes closed, just waiting for sleep to come. But it wouldn't come. I can't remember exactly how long this particular episode of insomnia was. Uh, after a while, the days and nights just kind of blur together. One thing that people with insomnia rarely talk about is the boredom that comes with being awake all night. I watched nearly every single movie in my house. I mean, even the ones that I had no desire to watch. I beat all my video games. I organized my room over and over. I even started to just read random things. I read a cookbook. It was when I couldn't keep myself busy that things took a turn for the worse. I became obsessed with my own eyes. And sometimes I'd just be laying in bed and I felt like I had to jump out of bed and run to the bathroom so I could look in the mirror. I'd get on my countertop and sit there and look at my own eyes in the reflection. I'd watch them focus in as they pinpointed my pupils in the mirror. If it weren't for me writing in my journal and notebooks and expressing those pent-up emotions and feelings, I'm not sure I'd still be here today. I mean, writing was my vice. After some time, I was finally able to get a regular sleep schedule, here and there, at least. Thanks to the help of a couple different doctors and experimenting with different new medication. But I actually learned a lot from my time with insomnia. I still have it. Every now and then, there'll be nights where I just can't sleep at all. But insomnia gave me a new perspective. It taught me that you have to take the good with the bad. And that in order to really appreciate the light, you have to experience the darkness.